Hi everyone, it's me, Krillius, Team Racing Productions MC and producer. And my special guest today is Key. Hey, how are you? Hey. So great to have you here, Key. Could I'm you... so excited to be here. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For our audience, could you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell them a little bit about yourself? Yeah, of course. So my name is Key Simone and I live here locally in Washington, D.C. My passion really is creating safe spaces and just community for Black queers, particularly in the city because there's not a lot of places for like Black lesbians, bisexuals and non-binaries to just kind of like congregate and have a good time. So I, along with two of my really close friends, DJ Kid Fresh and Kay Cruz, run the Frequency class. We throw parties every second Friday called Frequency Fridays. Yes, and they are inclusive parties for Black queers. So lesbians, bisexuals, non-binary, trans men, all, all of those. Um, so we throw those parties every second Fridays at Pure Lounge on New Street. Um, we used to call that Wicked Moon, but you know, the pandemic closed our, our good, our good restaurant down. Yeah. Um, I also am the founder and editor-in-chief of Love by Her, which is a digital, a digital platform that celebrates and showcases Black queer love. So we interview Black queer couples about their relationships, their life, raising families, building houses, things like that. And we also sell um, gender affirming and identity affirming merch. Um, so our merch usually says like Love by Her, Love by Them, Black Queers Matter, Black Representation Matters, Black Women Loving Black Women. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit of what I do. Oh no, I live, I live, I live, mm -hmm. I live. So um, I've never been to one of these parties or events before. Uh, for some, for people who I'm sure would be interested, because I mean, in this city, there, as you've said, there's not a lot of places for Black queers to really come together and congregate yeah. that, you know, the Black queers are together and, you know, th there's not that many places. So I'm sure so many people um, are interested and would be interested, you know, to come out to these events. So for those people who are, tell us a little bit what it's like, you know, stepping into that space and how has it been so far, you know, putting these on? Yeah, so I mean, honestly, it was my friends I did first, Kay and Fresh. They came to me for marketing advice. Um, and by the end of the conversation, I'm like, he just do it with us because we know you're you're super into the queer community. We could use your help. And since then, like we already were family, but it really just brought us closer. Um, because when we first started out, there are other lesbian party promoting groups. There's like A to Z events, um, DJ Mims throws parties. So there are other groups out there but none of us have residency really anywhere. Our parties are kind of few and far between. You usually get the most parties during Pride, mm -hmm. um, Black Queer Pride in DC, which is usually my Memorial Day. And then you don't get anything else really after that. So we just wanted to create a party that happens every month that people can look forward to. You come out and what's most important to us is you come out and you see people who look like you. Yes. So you see people and you're comfortable because a lot of times with certain parties, especially if you go to like a straight club, it's a lot of straight cis men who are hitting on you and making you uncomfortable and being aggressive. Um, and so we wanted to create a safe space for lesbians and black queer people to come out and just relax and not have to worry about, you know, getting hit on the entire time by people they're not attracted to. Um, so you come out, we always have bottles popping, we have puka all night, DJ Kid Fresh, DJ Tia Nicole, they're always spinning and it's just a good time. Yes, yes. And I love how committed you are to, you know, Black queer spaces and Black queer love in particular um, with Love By Her. And uh, was there something that inspired you to, to really want to, you know, get into you know, this section of the community and, you know, make that a part of what you do? Yeah, it's a funny story because Love By Her was created because I was actually complaining <laughs> about a interview that went viral about another lesbian couple, which beautiful lesbian couple, their story was beautiful. But I just felt like anytime stories of love that include lesbians are shared on a mainstream, they all look alike. 
light mm. skin, curly hair, soft in nature. And I just felt like, you know, this is great because rep all representation is good reputation, right? But we all don't look like that. And I, like we all are, we're different. Mm -hmm. Some of us are dark skin. Some of us are heavier. Some of us are more masculine. Some of us don't identify with any of those pronouns. And I felt like it was important that every story is shown and that the full spectrum was shown. Um, and someone on Twitter was like, don't complain about it, just do it. And I was like, I don't know me. Because <laughs> full time, I'm a digital marketer digital marketer, I build websites for a living. I do marketing for a living. So I was like, you ain't said nothing but a word. And so in 2019, I found a team and we built it. And it's really just become this like really strong digital community, you know? And we, I create, me and my time, me and my team create content because we need it. You know, me yeah. growing up overseas and never being around lesbians, I didn't know it was an option until I was in college. Mm. And so we can just influence one person to be their true self and show one person that they can love who they want out loud and freely as a black woman or as a black queer person, then we're doing our jobs. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you know, we need much more content out here for black queer people. So it's always great to see black creatives, you know, coming together, putting their head together and, you know, creating new things. Yeah. So really, you know, um, create safe spaces and safe places for black queer, for the black queer community and really, really celebrating black queer love. So for viewers who want to keep up with you, keep up with what you're doing, you know, subscribe, you know, support <laughs> all of that. How can they go ahead and do that? Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> um, to follow me, um, my at name is um, the baddie, B A D D I E galore, G A L O R E, and that's on Instagram. That's on Twitter. That's on everything, TikTok, everything you can think of. And then for Frequency Class, you can follow us on Instagram at, at the Frequency Class, spelled exactly how it sounds. We post all of our upcoming parties, pictures from the parties, videos. We're planning a big celebration in August because it is my birthday. Um, I'm turning 29, so we're going all out. We're doing a Frequency Happy birthday. Thank you. We're going to do a bad edition. We're bringing all the bad bitches out for my birthday. I'm super excited for that. Um, so follow us on Instagram so you can keep up. Um, um, make sure you get, get tickets. And then for Love By Her, you can follow us at Love By Her, Love By Dot Her on Instagram and Love By X Her on Twitter. Or subscribe to us at lovebyher.com. Lovely, lovely. And to our viewers, the links will be in the description down below. So make sure that you check it out. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Fabulous. Thanks so much. And thank you for what you're doing in our community. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And to our viewers, thank you for watching. Bye, everyone. We thank our production sponsors, Whitman Walker Health, for their continued support of Team Racine Productions. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.